let us take a very simple the first example in the tolerance stack up analysis it's a worst case analysis let's start by selecting the distance here i mean this missing distance this missing distance whether you desire gap or interference as a functional require requirement in your design first you select the distance of your interest where you want gap or interference second whether you want to do one dimensional analysis or two dimensional analysis or three dimensional analysis anyway all these three x y z directions can be done <coughs> using one dimensional analysis but not all together but separately let us focus on one dimensional analysis in this case let us take this loop goes along the x direction now you know the dimension origin from the previous slide now we need to determine the positive direction and the negative direction anything that is away from the starting point A <coughs> is the negative direction the dimension goes towards the origin point A is a positive direction so the distance from A to B now for example the first dimension here 17 point 17 is negative because it is away from the starting point a and the dimension second dimension 57 is towards a so positive and third dimension is away from a the other side so it's negative and fourth dimension is also negative because it goes away from the starting point A and the other side now build the chain of dimensions the chain of dimensions starts from the origin point A with a circle and arrow this the 17 and then the 15 starts with a, a circle at the left side and goes towards the right side with an arrow in the positive direction and uh, 17 goes from right side to left side in the negative direction and 11 and 11 goes from the right side to left side in the negative direction convert all dimensions and uh, tolerances to equal bilateral format here all the dimensions are converted the 17 is converted into 16.5 plus or minus 0.5 that is on equal bilateral equivalent and 57 is converted into 56.5 plus or minus 1.5 equal bilateral tolerance and 17 18 limit dimension is converted into 17.5 plus or minus 0.5 bilateral tolerance equal 
equal bilateral tolerance. 11 plus or minus 1, no change. Now adding and subtracting the tolerances from the nominal dimension gives the maximum and minimum distance values. Now all the positive direction in one column of the chart here 56.5 is the only positive dimension in this loop and uh, there are three negative dimensions in this loop in this functional loop 40 16.5 17.5 and 11 45 we are adding to 45 the neg the negative total is 45 and positive total is 56.5 total tolerance value all are added 0.5 plus 1.5 to mm plus 2.5 2.5 plus 1 mm that is 3.5 as a total tolerance now the positive and negative total we are sub we are subtracting the negative dimension from the positive total that comes around 11.5 that is equal to 11.5 and the total tolerance value plus or minus 3.5 so here the maximum distance is nothing but 11 plus 3.5 that is equal to 15 and minimum distance is 11.5 minus 3.5 that is equal to 8 so we found out the maximum distance and minimum distance of the missing distance from the point A, from the start point A to the end point B here by using tolerance stack up analysis where a special case like worst case scenario. Thank you, thank you for watching this video.